Welcome to my video, my uh, very unprofessional video of my $420 do-it-yourself vocal booth with no construction. I made this out of four by eight sheets of two inch rigid foam that I bought for Lowe's for about 35 bucks a piece. And I put them together using a roll of Gorilla Tape. <laughs> and then I ran out and I used, uh, I don't know, a quarter of a roll of duct tape to finish it off. So no wood at all, no screws, no nails. It is foam and tape. I think this is something that anybody could do. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So I basically took the sheets. I cut them to 80 inches high. That is how I got my height. I made the booth. If you look at that tape line down the middle there, you know, they were four feet wide. Basically, when I cut them down, I wanted the booth to be six feet. I felt a little cramped. So I made it four by six. And as you can see, when I cut them at 80 inches, I took the extra pieces and I taped them all together with my Gorilla Tape. And I used that to form the roof. So here you can see um, I've got the three walls up. These are six feet long. And again, they're four feet wide, two inch foam, it's really rigid foam. Uh, it, it blocks the sound fairly well. I'm down here in my unfinished basement. And there is the roof, which is made out of all the, the scrap pieces that I cut down on the height. And basically, I'm just going to now lay the roof on the top there. And I'm going to tape that into place using my Gorilla Tape. And at that point, I've got everything but the door pretty much taped together. Obviously, I didn't tape the door on there because I need to get in and out. All in all, I spent about $200 and probably $20, I guess, for all the material for the booth, which was the foam and the tape that I needed to put it all together. And then there was the additional $200 for the treatment. So as you can see now, I've got the booth. I've got it all taped together, uh, the three walls and the top. Now, the bottom, I just had some extra, those, those kind of kid foam pads laying around. I was like a play space area and they fit perfectly in there. So I used those as the base for the floor. So it gave me about, I guess that's about a half inch or maybe an inch of, uh, of foam, which is kind of solid foam on the, on the bottom too. And I do put a carpet in there, which you'll see. So here's the completed room. I didn't show you me putting the, the panels on the little foam acoustic panels because they're just held on with double-sided tape. When I basically one in each corner. There was no reason. These are the cheap ones, which everybody says don't do anything. But in combination with the two-inch foam, I think they work great. I mean, I'm doing this recording right here in the booth now, and I think it just it works fine for me at this point. I may upgrade that. There's my carpet, which was, I think, a $30, $35 find, 4 by 6 carpet that I got off Amazon. That's my little computer setup. Uh, the table there is another Amazon find. I believe it's about three feet. That also was about 35 bucks, the chair I had. Taking you around the side now, inside the booth is my monitor and wireless keyboard and mouse, which is hooked to that Mac Mini right there, which is outside of the booth. It's very quiet in itself. You don't really hear it uh, very often, but it's outside. You can see there I'm very close also to my boiler. That is a very large freezer and a dehumidifier. So I need to make sure I turn those things off before I start recording. Otherwise, my recordings won't come out good. Uh, it's an isolation booth, basically. It deadens the sound in here, but it is certainly not soundproof. Now, there's the door that I made with the last piece of foam, and it's a friction fit. I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. Uh, and it basically, I just pull it right on in. It's hard for me to do it here. I put two zip ties, two of the big zip ties. I put dowels, as you're going to see, through the back so they wouldn't pull through the foam. But I just basically poked some holes in there. I used the zip ties to pull the door closed, and it fits tight. I've got a little bit of overhang on the top uh, and then the carpet on the bottom. So it pulls in, and between the carpet and the top pressing down on it, it's pretty much a tight fit. Is, is it, is it um, light tight? <laughs> no, you could probably see a little bit of light coming through it, maybe in a spot or two. But it worked really well. And I can just give it a little bit of push and then it just pops right back off. So that is the door. This is my little computer setup there. That's a small Behringer mixer that I got for about $80. Uh, you can hook two microphones to that. Plus, I can also put my iPad or my phone on there uh, to record Skype calls and whatnot. There's my Amazon table. And then, yes, my, uh, <laughs> my tent peg that I had to hold my headphones on there. I just basically pushed it right through the foam. Hang that up. There's my Amazon mic stand and light. Went a little Amazon crazy. And uh, my mic, which is a Shure SM58, which I'm recording on right now. I will be doing some upgrading in the in the future with some with some really more acoustical foam and things. But this is all the money I had to spend, which was about $420. Wish me luck as I attempt a voiceover career and go out and build yourself a $420 no construction DIY vocal booth.